and we're back so I am leaving the campground KOA in uh, I think it's Gila Bend New Mexico and uh, yeah pretty nice day I mean first time in a KOA campground a little loud uh, a lot of interstate traffic but I took a <coughs> play out of Mrs. Smith's playbook and that is to uh, and that was to uh, the nine and a half mile an hour speed limit threw me off back there which is pretty funny but to wear earplugs because I wore them the first night because it was super windy and I was having a hard time goddamn gigantic speed bumps I mean why do they have to do this here Sorry, getting my bearings. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, on the road, going to, uh, I think, Las Cruces, New Mexico. There's some good breweries there, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm hoping I should have stood up for that speed bump. Hope when I get up to speed, I won't be as sweaty as I am now. Uh, again, I don't know what the temp is here, but it seems like it's hot as fuck already in the morning. But, uh... All right, so that's it. Uh, catch you in later. Peace out. And we're back. We're back. So I'm uh, on I-8. And uh, this is my first time, I believe, ever on I-8. I mean, I could, uh, I could be wrong, but I don't remember being on I-8. Well... On a bike, let's just say that. That's definitely true. It might have been on I-8 back in high school when I spent some time in Arizona looking for snakes. But uh, yeah, so this is what the audio sounds like when you're going. Let's see, I'll get myself up to the speed limit. So the speed limit's 75, and then I like to be a badass and go a little over like 78 or so because my speedometer I know my speedometer is off so I had that uh, calibrated it by a uh, factory trains Honda technician of course so I'm not speeding but uh, yeah so this is what the audio sounds like uh, this is what the landscape looks like around here today is gonna be a big old I think interstate driving day uh, a lot of saguaro cactus around it's pretty cool people think of the desert I think uh, this is usually what comes to mind especially for kids and stuff like big giant cactus so this is a uh, Sonoran desert it's definitely uh, my favorite uh, desert for sure you know out of all the deserts I've been to which have been all in the United States and uh, let's see fairly warm today uh, it's, it's only 8 o'clock and I think that's the, the real time but I'm not really super warm I'm wearing my uh, I might as well at some if I post these videos which I know I will <coughs> the only overpants I bought are broader mesh Olympia overpants and then I have this uh, some type of jacket, I'll have to look up the name, excuse me, tired, uh, that you can open up panels and stuff, for the most part I have everything closed, maybe I have two vents open on the jacket, and then under that I'm just wearing my uh, rain liners, the non-insulated ones from Olympia, and then the rain jacket from another jacket, it's hard because I have a whole bunch of Olympia jackets and I just uh, mix and match the parts and uh, yeah interesting enough you know I, I haven't purchased anything since I've been on this trip other than food and I've consumed that and uh, it was hard packing my dry bags today so I have no idea what's uh, what's going on they were hard to close so uh, yeah that's pretty much it again just uh, bombing down the super slab all right, signing off, peace out.
We're back! I think sometimes I say that because I don't know what the hell I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah, so I think to the left, that is the big city of Tucson, Arizona. Oh, sorry, I had a yawn at the same time. Uh, I'm on fabulous Interstate 10, super slabbing it. Boring! And, uh, let's see. Been on the road for an hour and a half. Got some gas, petrol, and, uh, oh, filling up in Arizona. What a dream. First of all, it's hell of a lot cheaper. And second of all, there's no stupid vapor recovery boot. So that big, uh, anybody lives in, I don't know what other states, but if you live in Jersey or freaking California, you know what I'm talking about. It makes filling up a motorcycle a big pain in the ass. Here, none. So easy to fill up. So, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like if you had a bike in Jersey or in California, or any place else that has those stupid vapor recovery boots and then you move someplace else you can fill up a bike any place except in Jersey I guess technically you're not allowed to fill your own bike up because it's that in Oregon are the two states where they uh, pump it for you but in Jersey usually they had you to pump over so anyway uh, <coughs> just wanted to uh, Check in, get a little bit of footage, and that's uh, pretty much the story. So, probably next check in will be from uh, no man's land someplace. Peace out! And we're back. So, I finally uh, decided to get off of. I-10 and I'm on some back roads <laughs> and it added like it's gonna add three hours to my trip it claims if I uh gotta pay attention to driving some laugh it says it's gonna add three hours to my trip but uh I don't know you know as long as I don't as long as there's places to get gas I'll probably be happy I'll probably shoot back up onto the super slab for a while but it's so much better driving, some curves, shit to look at, nice scenery, I don't have to do 70 miles an hour, I can do 55, I can watch for rocks for the next mile, so uh, yeah, it's cool man, it's actually it's getting fairly warm, I was just thinking about that too, it's like, oh, they always tell you to have like a lot of water, I have a uh, Probably 1.5 liters of water. So, uh, I'm hoping for this time of year and where I'm going, that's that's pretty good. If I were to break down, I'd break down, I set up the tent, sit in the shade, sweep my ass off. So yeah, a uh, few things I've realized about the NC a little bit. NC 700X. You know, the seat's okay, but uh, you know, it's not as good as probably my Comfort BMW seat was on the 650GS single. And I mean, I get that, you know, because uh, BMW has like a kajillion manufacturers making shit for them. Um, notably, uh, notably, <laughs> most notably, Tour Tech and. Uh, Tour Tech and uh, well, apparently there's bikes on this road and Wonderlich. So, so I don't know what the road this is. It said it was a scenic route and I'm heading to Highway 82 after this. So right now I'm going further south, more south than I need to go. get to where I think I want to go, which is Los Cruces, Las Cruces, New Mexico. But, you know, I just reminded myself, I got plenty of time, and uh, yeah, I really don't need to be any place. not like I need to stay where I think I'm going to stay tonight. So, uh, 
Yeah, as long as there's, like I said, as long as I can get fuel someplace, because the uh, NC has not been super kind on fuel. I've been getting, uh, <coughs> dare I say, mid to upper 40s on some legs of this trip. So, anywho, uh, that is that. Looks like I'm going to be turning someplace in 11 miles, so uh, hopefully there's some place where I can get, like I said, gas and some fuel for myself. So, that being said, peace out! Recording. And we're back. Uh, yeah, I've been riding a little bit since the last clip, and I was like, oh my god, this road is so freaking awesome. Glad I got off uh, the fucking interstate. It's been trying not to F bomb, but that's like impossible for me. But uh, yeah, this scenery is awesome, these roads are awesome. I was just so excited and I had no one to share it with other than Sena, Sena 10C. Kind of sad, uh, Mrs. Smith is not here to experience this. Pause of silence there. But, uh, yeah, she'll be coming out at least for her to Pittsburgh in a hat and renting a bike. So that should be pretty fun. So, uh, yeah, I'll try to leave this on. Maybe we'll get another spectacular view to the right on my GPS. It's all green, so that means it's probably like protected area. And to the left, it is just a regular color. So that probably means that it is just a regular, regular area. Watch for animals. Next 43 miles. Yeah, at least I know it sounds like I'm freaking special, and I, I probably am. Yeah, hit my head a lot, you know, back in the day. And, uh, you know, sometimes my mind gets away from me, especially when I'm trying to do a lot of things. So, uh, so, uh, but, uh, at least I'm saying so, uh, now. I used to say, but, uh, and I said my name used to be Butterboy. So, all right, peace out. And I'm back again, only five minutes before the uh, other one. But uh, it said there's a border patrol check up here. Uh, it must be pretty close to Mexico. But then again, I've gotten pulled over on I-10. But uh, yeah, we'll check it out. They're slowing us down. So I figured I'd film this. Get a little bit of uh, excitement on here. You can ask me if I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm not going to fuck with him. I'm going to say yes I am. Good to go? All right, thank you. Just wanted to get a little bit of excitement on there. I knew I didn't have to stop because it said proceed with caution. So this be a pretty boring job, but oh well. All right, this time I am out for a while. Peace out. We're back. We're back. I know it's gonna get real annoying, but man, I can't. I just uh, I'm on this highway 82. I took 83 to 82, and uh, probably one of the nicest roads rides I've been on. It's just nice open road, very little traffic, uh, spectacular views. 
gonna suck when I gotta get back on the uh, super slab because uh, <coughs> I think for me to get to where I am, and this is you know doing research at the last guess, fill up. I'd have to take some unpaved roads, and said me on this bike, not good on unpaved roads. Uh, with the tire pressure I have and not having a compressor, not good. Uh, yeah. So, probably have to get on the super slab again for a while. Got a Can-Am or a trike coming. Two trikes. Yep, yep. See if Mrs. Smith actually watches uh, these videos because uh, I could totally move to uh, Arizona without an issue. No problem. You know. You'd have to be down in the Sonoran area though. Yep. Okay, it's a great temperature. I'm gonna guess it's you know in the mid sixties. Starting to creep up closer to 70, but it feels like mid 60s to me. All right, peace out. So I check back in. So there's a uh, water patrol checkpoint. I think I'm going to go to Tombstone first, then I'll head back, then I'll head back, I'll head back. I don't know what's in Tombstone, but we're going to find out. Hopefully, uh, some place to fucking eat. Yeah, yeah! I guess I'll know in, uh, three miles. So, it's probably where I know it from. It's a giant tourist trap with some fucking yummy food. Or at least a subway. It's a giant fucking RV park. That probably doesn't let tents camp there. Welcome to the city of Tombstone. Turn the camera on, so I'm gonna just fucking make it worth your while. What could be happening in the city of Tombstone? Be prepared to stop for something. Stop for something, god damn it! <laughs> uh, fucking abuse myself. <laughs> uh, it's funny how you can crack yourself up. 
Apparently, Tombstone is a popular place. This place is AAA approved. FedEx is stopping to deliver some packages. Looks like we got a flagman ahead. Telling us to go slow. Slower than 35 miles per hour. A, na a registered National Historic Landmark. Thank you, Flagger Guy. Cafe Margarita, that's what I fucking need. I need cafe fucking beer over here. Local beer, Tombstone, local beer. Where's that guy? 107 Two blocks in courthouse 107 East Toughnut Street 107 East Toughnut Street That's where I want to go Two blocks from the courthouse Two, 107 East Toughnut Street That's what they said I forgot there's no helmet laws in Arizona. seen enough of tombstone for you all. Oh, that's not that even hit me. Well, Alright, this is where I log off and I find the fucking brewery. Peace out. And we're back. So I just left lovely Tombstone, Tombstone, Arizona. And I am heading towards Las Cruces, New Mexico, state number three. But we have a Border Patrol checkpoint coming up. Border Patrol checkpoint, keeping America safe. So I figured I'd film it in case it is interesting. Might not be interesting, it might be interesting. Who knows? One never knows. One never knows, does one. This guy's got illegal Mexicans in his truck because he is stopping way before the checkpoint. Way before the checkpoint. Good, how are you, sir? All right, you too.
They didn't even ask me if I was a citizen of the United States of America. Alright, so, gonna save the battery because I could have been charging my battery when I was at lunch, but I don't know where I put my pod. Because I'm a jackass. Alright, signing off. Peace out. And we're back. So, uh, yeah, these are some of the random things when you're on these back roads and you don't have a radio on, you're not listening to music. So, uh, this is what I've been doing for the last probably 20 minutes. I've been singing uh, Dido with, with my cat. So it's meow, 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 meow,
102 miles to go. That burp, that was my awesome lunch of uh, combos and dried apricots. Washed down with some water and a beer before that. Yeah, so good times. My stomach is churning like crazy too. Well, it's uh, all part of the experience, I guess. So, uh, bada, so, uh, bada, so, uh, and I'm getting a little punchy. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Really not shit to see here other than a train track and more fucking desert and sandstorm signs. Maybe this will be another sandstorm sign up here where it tells me, zero visibility present, high dust area. Do not stop and travel lanes. Yeah, if I had to be a truck driver, I'd just fucking put a bullet in my head, man. At least I got off the uh, interstate today for a little while. I mean, I didn't get very far going off the interstate because I did a big loop, but uh, it was worth it. So tonight, if I don't pass out because I'm so fucking tired, uh, I'll probably try to look at the map a little bit more and try to see if I can do shorter days with less in a state so that being that peace out and we're back seeing it another koa uh, this one not as nice as the other one but not terrible. She said I'm in 74. We'll see what that is. Oh, I see where I'm at. Seventy four is literally behind. So 74 was literally behind the building and I missed it. Fuck, man. These parking lots are like ridiculous. If you're on a bike. With street tires. Hey, nothing like pea gravel. I'll be awesome at fucking pea gravel riding, that's for sure. Alright, so. I think she's literally talking. Alright, so I don't know where the fuck she's talking about. talking about you guys from Jersey so she's literally you can go come on see you saw what's that oh, sorry. No. no no I was just trying to figure out where I'm at and I know where I'm at now oh. I'm good. 
So this is the playground here. Perfect. 